Hello again, my name is David Watts from Lenovo Press and I have with me today Steve Loshon from the Briefing Centre here in North Carolina. We are today going to be talking about light path diagnostics. This is a function of our System X servers and we have a couple of systems here we're going to demonstrate for you as well. So Steve, tell us about light path diagnostics. What is it and why would a customer care? The benefit of light path diagnostics, David, is that a customer would I'll be alerted to a, a pending fault or an actually occurred fault in a system. Right. So then the service technician would be dispatched to a data center where the equipment is located. Okay. And then they need some additional guidance as to how to clarify and rectify the problem. So light path diagnostics is actually a combination of LEDs on the system board plus some, uh, an LCD display on the front, right? Exactly. And so the notion here is to be able to help organizations reduce the time it takes to repair their systems. So giving the service personnel the right information the first time is going to reduce the downtime right. of the server. So what sort of things do we actually show with our, our light path diagnostic system? So there's a number of subsystems that are instrumented. Things like power supplies, mm -hmm. memory dims, CPUs, add-in cards are all instrumented in our System X products. Okay, okay. So we're going to show a couple of systems here. We've got the 3650M5, we're going to show power supply failure, right? Exactly. So what okay. I'm going to do is actually slide that system out and actually remove the power cord to simulate a power supply failure. All right. Let's try it out. Okay. So the, at the front of the system, the 3650M5, we have the uh, LCD panel, right? Right. The what? light path panel giving the information about the system. Okay. So the default information is the operating system and the name of the server that's installed on that system. Okay. So the additional information I'm able to glean by this panel is I can scroll through here and get particularly important information. So things like the management IP address. So mm -hmm. the IMM and the 38, 3650 is displayed. So I can select that and actually get the IP address and MAC address information right. of that server via the LCD panel. So this is the, L the panel is actually useful for information about the system even when it's operating normally. Exactly, yeah. so that's the other two benefits of the, the uh, light path panel is yeah. that gives me operational information, not only the configuration of the server, firmware information, but also right. in a diagnostic mode. Right. So if I'm having a problem with the server, I can quickly identify the failing component. Okay, so the scenario we're gonna demonstrate is that a power supply has failed or a power cord's bumped on the system, right? Exactly. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pull the power cord from this system. Yep. And what's going to be instrumented is the LCD panel will indicate that there is a problem with that server. Okay. So when I remove the power cord, it's so going to now display that there is a power supply number two that's at fault. Right. And so it's lit up here as well, exactly. right? Exactly. So yep. that's the in information that is quickly discernible on the front of that system. Right. So the technician has clarification as to which system is affected right. by that alert. And I would also point out too that this um, alert LED, the, the um, orange bang there, there's also one of those on the back of the server too, right? Exactly, so, so, if, I'm hap yeah, so if I'm on the back of the server, I'm able to remove a, the correct power a, supply. If you've got a whole rack of systems, you know exactly which one it is. Exactly. Yeah. But you can tell from the, from the panel, it's written in, in plain language what has failed. So exactly. it's very easy to detect what it is. And again, the goal there, David, is that I want to be able to reduce the time it takes to repair the system, right. which is very, very critical. The sooner you can get the system up and running, cheaper the whole, the whole thing is, right? right? And it back in service for my workload. Right. right? So yeah. we see a lot of customers challenged right. with that. Very good. Okay, well, stick, let's stick that back in again, put the machine in. Well, now we'll have a look at the, our next demonstration, which is the, uh, in the 3850X6. Um, we're going to demonstrate the uh, a memory failure in this system, um, just to show you how the light path diagnostic system works um, internally to a system as well. Okay, so so Steve, tell us um, what's the scenario here? 3850X6, this particular one um, has suffered a memory dim failure. So what's happened up to this point? So what would happen is the alerting system would actually give coordinate evacuation of workload that might be running on that system. So whether it be coordination of VMware vCenter, mm -hmm. movement of workload and evacuating the virtual machines or system center or just the operating system. Right. So before I actually came to the system, the workload has been migrated off of this system. Okay. So now I'm able to see exactly what the fault is. So basically the, uh, the system was running fine, a memory failure, an imminent memory failure perhaps, was detected by the system and alerted the software, the operating system, the applications that a failure was imminent, so it was able to take, take that action 
before the system fails. Exactly, exactly. And that's the, the critical thing that customers want to be aware of is you want to move the workload statefully yes. and not have the system crash. Okay, so in this, in this particular system, we've done all that and all the virtual machines, the workload has migrated off, all those actions have been taken, so that this server now is ready to be serviced. Exactly, so the service personnel will come into the data center and actually identify with the, the exclamation point on the front of the system, mm -hmm. and then they'll be able to see on the diagnostic panel here exactly what the failing component is. So in this system, I could see that it's processor one and memory DIMM number nine. Yep. So what the service personnel would be able to do is actually power off that system, Right? And then they'll be able to remove the processor book by removing the fans, popping this out, and now I'm able to take this to a workbench area. And I would add that this is one of the four compute books in the 3850X6, and the compute book has the processor and the supporting memory DIMMs for that processor all in one, one package. Exactly. Right. So, so in this particular situation, you can see if I remove this cover, that by pressing the diagnostic panel, I could see exactly which memory DIMM it is. Yes, now, what you, now just to clarify, what you did there, you, there's a button on the front of the, of the unit that activates the light path diagnostic system. That is correct. So again, I can press that all day long, yep. <laughs> and I have that information easily attainable. Right. So, so the service personnel is able to identify the specific memory fault on this board. Okay. So in the 3850, architecture, I can have as many as um, 64 memory DIMMs mm -hmm. um, all the way up to 194, me 192 memory DIMMs in mm -hmm. the largest configuration. Yep. So I want to be able to have a quickly, be able to quickly determine exactly which memory DIMM is right. at fault. So you press the button there and you can see that the uh, orange light goes on and that's the indicator that tells you exactly which DIMM has failed. Exactly. Right. Now of course this particular DIMM we have here is actually a uh, it's a bug a, dim. A bugged dim, right? So it's, right. A, it's a dim that was developed specially to demonstrate this system. It's actually not a functioning dim, so that's why we're able to force the failure. Exactly. Yeah. So again, yeah. that's one of the benefits of being in our development lab and development campus is access to these uh, bug dims. Right. So the servicer would then simply uh, remove that dim, put a new uh, working dim in its place, and then insert the uh, the compute book back into the server and power back on again. Exactly, David, right. exactly. And so then now they, the server's operating again. Yep, and then if you want, if you've got your uh, uh, vCenter configured uh, this way, you can then migrate uh, your VMs back to the, the server once it's started back up again. All right, very good, Steve. So, th so there you have it. This is the light path diagnostic system. Uh, we covered the 3650M5 and the 3850X6. Thanks very much, Steve. Hope you found the video useful, and we'll see you later.